Hello, and welcome to another episode of Door Fortress. My name is Nick, and you're watching the Noble Boulders. Uh, when we left off last time, we had a lot of uh, plates that we were trying to spin at once, and I think we've kind of started to lose focus. Um, so what I want to do in this episode is just take a step back. I want to have a look at our labors, see what we're doing there. Uh, I think I may have been trying to do too many things at once and may have gotten some things out of hand. So we, I want to have a look at the labors, make sure that those are, are set appropriately. Uh, I do want to go up here and get this chicken issue resolved. I did a little bit of research on the chickens in the nest boxes and figured out what's going on there. Um, I want to make sure that we get this little trap situation resolved here with this bridge because as you can see, if I go into the uh, depot here, um, the wagons aren't, wagons aren't able to get in, and we actually missed a wagon, which is really, really not good. Um, and then lastly, I want to go down here to level 20, where our residential area is going to be, and start working on designing um, our layout. I'm actually... Uh, I, I was poking around in the, on the wiki, and it has some very interesting fractal designs, so I think we're going to try to start... Uh, start something with one of those. It uh, sounds like it would be ver really interesting to me. Um, I always thought I I've always thought fractals just looked really, really, really cool. So we're gonna play around a little bit with that and see what we can come up with. Um, so I'm gonna base it loosely off of a design that I found on the website, but uh, our our uh, our design is gonna be just a little bit different. So so with that, first thing that we're doing here is we are loading up uh, dwarf therapist and I'm just gonna expand this so we can see a little bit more of what's going on here and can we shrink this side panel down just a little bit we can yes okay so just a real, real quick recording note too uh, I noticed in the last recording I was looking very flushed and washed out so I did some adjustments to my lighting uh, if you can uh, just let me know what you think about that in the comment section, I would appreciate it. I'm trying to figure out this whole webcam thing, and I'm, I'm very new to it, so yeah. Some, some, uh, some advice would be appreciated here. Okay, so right now we have two guys set up as nobles. Uh, I am going to go into, uh, into Dwarf Warfers proper here and undo that. Um, so we're going to go down to our broker and we can let's see replace with leave vacant and same thing with our bookkeeper we can leave both of those vacant for now um, once i get done with my uh labor refresh here then then we'll, then we'll take an account of that so the first thing that i'm going to do here is just go through and make sure that uh hauling labors are turned on for everyone um I might go back later and undo some of that, but that's fine. Um, and then just look through each of the labor labors that we have set for each dwarf and make sure that they are what we want to be. So for sure, we need two diggers. That's 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 an absolute necessity. And I think I do want to leave the uh, the hauling off for those two uh, because they're going to be digging full time. I haven't really been doing a good job of making sure they always have things to dig. But I picked up another little tip uh, over the last day that's going to help out with that. So we're definitely going to be doing a lot more of that. So uh, we have our farmer here. Um, now our farmer has a lot of extra stuff on him right now. So he's got architecture and he's got plant processing and he's got butchery and tanning. So when I'm thinking about these labors, I'm thinking about um, there's some labors that are very time intensive um, and there's some labors that are very time critical. So a time intensive labor is one where the dwarf is going to be spending a lot of time doing that job. He's basically just going to be doing that the whole time. There's always going to be work for him to do. A time critical job or... Uh, I believe that's a term I used, yeah, um, is one where when an order is placed, that dwarf needs to drop everything and go do that, uh, go, go fill that order. Um, so you don't want to have time critical jobs assigned to the same dwarf that you have time intensive jobs assigned to. And for our very starting dwarves, we're going to have, a, uh, we had a lot of jobs that were very time intensive. So we had our miner, uh, both of our miners and our woodcutter. Uh, both of them were spending a lot of time doing their their respective labors. Um, now our our mechanic is is another one there where 
Uh, we turned on a bunch of extra labors for the, for him. Or, I, I guess just the one. But we kind of had him bouncing around. We had him doing some farming for a little bit. Um, but uh, I think I'm going to go back in and, and remove the workflow restriction on the mechanic job. Uh, just to make him crafting, uh, crafting the... Uh, what do you call it? The, the mechanisms all the time. Uh, those do sell pretty well. Um, they're easy to make, and uh, I don't see any reason to take him off of that of that particular job. Um, so the other thing I'm kind of thinking too is what are the things that are critical for us to be able to successfully um, to successfully run here. So we definitely need carpentry because we're going to need barrels and bins and beds and all that sort of stuff. We definitely need wood cutting to get our carpentry stuff going. Uh, we definitely need masonry because that's where all of our basic um, rock stuff comes from. Um, and obviously mining and farming for getting our uh, mining for uncovering rocks and farming for keeping our food production up and running. So I'm gonna turn off plant processing, butchery and tanning for our farmer. Um, we might we might go back and turn some of that back on later, uh, but right now we're just making sure that the only skills that they have are, are their primary jobs. And then I'll go back through and assign some secondary jobs as we go. So the other, in our, in our second wave that came in, uh, we had these two kids here. We can't do anything with them. Um, child labor is just not approved in the Dwarf Fortress world, so we can just leave them, leave them be. Uh, we did we did have a plant gather two two guys set to plant gathering uh, we'll turn those off uh, we don't really need those right now um, we definitely need our brewer our cook and our our stone crafter is pretty important but it's not incredibly important um it's it's basically like our trade skill right now it's our first industry that we're really getting into um which I mean, yeah, that, that's getting into some kind of industry is very important because we do need to be able to make stuff so that we can sell stuff because there's a lot of stuff that we're going to need from the merchants when they come. But it's less important than having food running, uh, having our traps uh, churning out so that we can set up our defenses um, and having our, our mining going because that's kind of where we're going to be getting all of our materials for everything else. Um, but I think we're going to leave it on uh, because we are going to be doing a heck of a lot of digging over the next few episodes, making a lot of rock. So we're going to leave that on so that we can make good use of that. So of the dwarves that, uh, that currently have stuff assigned, and let's actually change this to... Um, just change it to total assigned skilled labors so now we can see down here at the bottom these are all the doors that we have labors assigned to so we have a miner we have a farmer we have a second miner oh i'm sorry this guy's a brewer not a farmer uh we have our our planter we have our mechanic we have our our uh Stone crafter, our carpenter, our mason, and our woodcutter. So those are our primary guys. So there's a couple other things that we are going to need. Uh, we are going to need someone to have architecture on. Architecture is one of those things that you jump up, you hit it, and then you're done. Like there's not a whole lot to it. Um, so I think that's that's something that we can really throw onto anyone. Let's go ahead and look at roles here real quick. And just see if there's any other... I'm particularly looking in this section to see... Uh, we, we do have a guy who would make, make a skilled bookkeeper. Um, before, we did have our mechanic assigned to... Uh, assigned to brokering. Um, I'm not entirely sure that that's the best idea. Um, I might assign one of these other... Basically, we have three dwarves here to work with. Um, it is good to have dwarves that have not that are going to be busy all the time just for hauling stuff around particularly as we start digging um, we're going to have a lot of stuff to move so we might leave the um the broker or the bookkeeper at least unassigned for now but we might go in and tell this uh avig let's see avas akmam uh he, he might become our our broker just looking at the skills that he has, he's he's got the, the the easiest of the three. So what we can do then is go back there and assign him the 
architecture skill uh, because that's one that we need but it's not something that we need to have all the time like it's not something that someone's going to be doing full time it's it's a temporary job um, now I need to just real quick check my recording and make sure that it is going okay yes <laughs> That would be horrible if I had sat here talking at my computer for 10 minutes and forgot to hit the start button. It has happened before, which is why I'm checking. <clears throat> okay, so we're turning our arch architecture on. I'm just going to real quick scan through here and see if there's anything else that we absolutely need that we don't have someone assigned to. Okay, so carpentry, uh, if I'm not mistaken, carpentry is what is needed to clear out our... Um, our traps. I'm just gonna real, real quick double check that. Oh no, it's mechanics that's needed for that. Okay, so what we're gonna do then is we are going to temporarily assign mechanics to all three of these guys. Just to make sure that gets done, because that job needs to happen right away. Um, let's see. So we've got mining, we've got carpentry, already have guys assigned there. We're not doing anything with bows yet, so we don't need anything there. We do have a wood cutter assigned. We don't have anyone set to wood crafting, but that's really only used for uh, for the craft horse workshop. Um, and we're going to be doing stone crafting instead. And once again, I do want to point out, that's probably going to be a temporary arrangement. Um, once we... Uh, once we've figured out what kind of industry we want to go with, we'll transition into something else. It's just for now, stone crafting is quick and easy, and the thing with a lot of the other uh, industries is you're going to be burning through a lot of expensive resources, getting your dwarves trained up in them. So I don't want to... I, I would rather maybe wait a little bit, wait till the next migration wave, and see if we end up getting maybe someone who's a skilled metal crafter, rather than burning a bunch of metal bars on someone who's not going to be very good at it. Um because the quality does matter with uh, with the metal crafting stuff. Okay, we have animal care and animal training. Um, I believe that animal training is for... Huh. Interesting. Uh, I believe animal training is for um, taming animals that you find in the wild. Uh, although that might be animal care. I'm actually not sure what the difference is there between those two. Um, in fact, that might be worth looking up really quickly. So we're going to go to the Dwarf Fortress wiki. Um, here. And we're going to go animal care. What is animal care? It is used to treat injured pets as long as they have the label enabled. Hmm. Huh. Okay. We don't have any injured pets, so that's something that we'll that we'll take care of if we end up needing it. Um and then animal training. Uh do, 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 do. training wild ones or training certain species for war or hunting. Okay, yeah. So we don't need that right now. Um Again, it's one of those it'd be nice to have eventually, but we aren't really there right now. Um, hunting, we don't have materials for hunting. We didn't take that with us, so we're going to leave that alone, along with trapping, animal dissection, gilding. Uh, the, this next set here is all of the, um, the medical skills. Once again, if we do end up having someone running into... Um, if we get someone injured, we'll go in here and turn, turn some of these on. Um, feed, feed patients, prisoners, and recover wounded uh, is kind of always set on um, by default. And I'm kind of fine with that. So we're just going to leave those on. Foping farming is, uh, is definitely getting on there. Um, soaping, wood burning, potash, lime, lime milling, pressing, all stuff that we're not really using quite yet. Plant gathering might be a good one to have on for someone, and we do have a guy who's skilled at it, so we're going to turn that one on. Plant processing, um, again, don't really have a use for it right now. Um, I am going to turn on mil milking, though. I think we're going to make this guy kind of our backup farmer, um, or we could we could turn some of this stuff on for our farmer down here, because farming is a time critical activity but it is not a time intensive activity whereas plant process or plant gathering does tend to be fairly time intensive um so maybe we'll go down here and turn on at least butchery for our farmer 
kind of makes sense. Oh, that's our brewer, not our farmer. Where is our farmer? Farmer's down here. And we wanted butchery. And maybe we'll turn on milking for him also. Maybe milk the yak. That could be useful. Uh, we're not doing anything with fishing yet. Or any of the metal, metal crafting, gem crafting, uh, any of the textile industries. Again, secondary industries that aren't necess that aren't really critical right now. Basically, at this point, we're just trying to keep our fortress up and running. And I don't think we really have enough dwarves to dive deep into industry quite yet. So we're just going to leave those as they are. Uh, and with that, we're going to commit those changes. So that takes care of that. Whoa, I minimized everything. So now what we're going to do here is... Uh, we're going to go down to our, uh, bu, bu, bu. let's take care of the chickens first. Okay, so with the chickens, there is really good, no good way to set the doors in such a way that, the, there is no way to set it in such a way that animals can get through and dwarves cannot. At least not that I've been able to find. But what I can do is I can set up two zones in here. So right now I have the whole thing set as a pen pasture. So what I can do is remove that whole zone. And then what I'm going to do is set up two zones. So I'm going to set up one zone here as a pen pasture. And then I'm going to set up a second zone down here as a pen pasture. And then what I'm going to do in this top one is I'm going to assign for now three of our hens to be up here. So one, two, three, uh, as well as our pet rooster. So what's going to happen is uh, they're going to get carried up here. I'm going to make sure we've got enough nest boxes for our three hens. And it looks like we have we have four actually. So we're going to get one of those out of there. And that one's actually already claimed by hen. I would prefer to like kind of move these around. I don't like the way they set up. I want them to be on the end. Um, so we're going to, we're just going to remove all three of those. Um, and then we're going to build nest box. we got to wait for those to be technically removed before we can move them. Okay, so we've got our three hens assigned up here, and then we're going to take the other hens. Uh, it's going to be I. Shift N. Uh, and we're looking for, let's see, this hen and this hen. So you can see uh, whether or not they're actually assigned to a place. Um, okay, so, we're, so we have two up there. I just want to make sure that that is right. One, two, three. Whoop. Okay. That's a little confusing the way that's laid out. Let's just make sure. I think that that little icon means that 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 uh, that those folks have been set to. Oh, let's see. Currently pastured. Okay, so. So if I go in here, set pen, I'm going to go one, two, three hens, and the pet rooster. Okay. Now if I go down here, see I have three hens that are assigned, so now I'm going to assign the other two hens. And we're actually going to take this other rooster and we're going to butcher him. He's going to be turned into tasty, tasty meats. Because we really don't need two roosters. We just need one. So what? So the dwarves are going to move those chickens around. I'm going to get those next nest box place, nest boxes placed, and then I'm going to close this door right here. And when that door is uh, when that door is closed, the chickens will be locked in here, but the dwarves won't be able to come in and steal their eggs either. So all of the eggs that are produced here uh, will be allowed to hatch and turn into chickens, and then all of the eggs that are produced down here we will let uh, we will let them mature. So that's what's going on there. So uh, we can, we're, we're going to unpause in a moment, but I want to go down here and get our, at least the start of our little bedroom area here planned. 
and actually one last thing before we do that I know I'm jumping around um, I'm gonna take uh, take care of the the little tip that I got so what we're gonna do is we're going to our top level here we're gonna set a dig command we're gonna set the priority to seven Okay, I'm currently set on marker only, so I need to change that to standard. So we are designating auto mining ore and gems. So what that is going to do, we're going to set this basically for the entire map down to that cavern layer that we found. So what that's going to do is whenever the miners don't have any other jobs, they're going to go to the levels where they have seen exposed ore and gems and mine them out. All the way down to the cavern layer like that. So what that's going to do, if we scroll up here, we can see that stuff set in green. So what auto mine does is it mines out the um, that particular ore or gem and if it finds another one next to it, it'll it'll set that one to mine also. So that's what that's all about. And then we're actually going to go up to level 20, which is our bedroom space here. Uh, and we're, we're going to as undesignate. Actually, we don't need to because it didn't actually designate any on this floor. So we're good there. Okay. Let me just check our record time, see where we're at. We are at 21 minutes. Okay, that time flew a lot faster than I had anticipated. So we're going to do our mining here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to... Make sure that we're in designate all. Make sure our priority is back to normal. We're gonna mine that stuff out. We're gonna undesignate our little center square because we wanna leave that there. So that's gonna give us a five by five in the middle. And then on top of this, we're gonna do a three by two uh, on each corner, like so. Oops. Okay, and then uh, off of that, we're going to do little exits here to our corridors. Now, off of those, we're going to do a little diddly like this. And these little three wide things are going to be the actual bedrooms themselves. This center thing is just kind of a lobby um yeah so then we can go from our tunnels up to the edge there so we have that's two four six eight bedrooms and then what we need to do is designate the other sides of these also so it's going to be just double checking here. Yeah, so this is going to go up like that. So, and then there's going to be a door here at each of these little at each of these little T's. Okay, so now we need entrances to get into the actual bedrooms. So, each dwarf is going to have a bedroom that is 1 by 3. So that gives us six bed, uh, two, four, six, eight bedrooms. How many dwarves do we have right now? We have 10, 12, 14, 15 dwarves. So we need about twice that. So then what we're gonna do is on each of these, we're gonna set up another bedroom parallel here. And another one opposite. Again, with entrances to those. Okay, so that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six per side. 
6 times 4 is 24, which is more than plenty. So we're going to leave it like that for now. Mm. The one other thing I'm going to do, though, is take these hallways and extend them around in the circle like that. Just because I think it looks kind of cool. So this is a variant of the Windmill Villas bedroom layout. It's a fractal version, um, which means that it has um, kind of this slightly off-kilter uh, symmetry. Um, but it's also a repeating design, so we can kind of spread it out. Um, and basically almost like copy paste this this design over and over and over and over and over again and we kind of this Celtic knot looking thing Which is kind of the idea Okay, so we're gonna unpause and let our doors go to work It's like our miners are coming down here. We have no idlers right now, which is great I'm just checking and making sure that our looks like our doors are actually like installing the the cage traps now um, which is what the mechanic, the, the mechanics are doing. Um, our carpenter isn't actually doing anything. Or rather, he's not doing, uh, any carpentering. Oh, he's sleeping. Okay, I guess he's allowed to do that. And our planter has no job. Of course. Alright, looks like those cage traps are being disassembled, and they are out of there. So we are golden on those. Right, we were going to take that one rooster. That was the one that isn't a pet, and we were going to butcher him. So we're going to do that. Okay. Well, let's just check down here and see if our... Uh, if our birds have been taken care of as far as getting them into their pens. Okay, looks like someone started to pull that bird around and then just stopped and left him there. That's a little unusual. Okay, let's go into workflow. Not really sure why that those two jobs got suspended. We're gonna turn those back on. Make sure that our cooks are, are doing their jobs. Stopping production drink. Okay. Did we put up a workflow task for drink? We did. 45 to 75 items. Um, okay, let's actually do the same here on our lavish meals. We're going to add a limit. Uh, we're going to have roast of any material. We're going to set the range on it. Uh, we're going to say 75 to 100. And I think we can actually set that same... Uh, limit for the drinks here, so um, And we're gonna have to go in there and adjust that further uh, as we get more dwarves Okay, so it looks like chickens are still being drug around here Let's let's uh, give them a moment to get all get them all into their respective areas Okay, there's one two three Okay, the rooster has been slaughtered all right Okay, so uh, that was the uh, the nest box. Next nest box is getting moved. We gotta wait for them to, to to be done moving those around. Looks like our four rooster, our four chickens are in there. Okay, can I build my nest boxes now? No. And desktop boxes seem to have a tendency to disappear. Okay. And that's way more nest boxes than we'll ever need in that bottom area, but um, that's fine. Okay, if you heard that noise, that was my cat falling off the table. He's kind of dumb. Okay, so now we're going to forbid passage on this door, which means that the chickens will not be able to get in and out. And they will happily lay eggs and make little chicken babies. And everything will be happy. Okay, so... 
There's an interesting little thing going on here. The merchants are actually there now. Did they de did they suddenly decide decide to show up once I cleared that area out? Huh. Okay, so we decide that we are going to assign someone to be our broker. Um, let's see if I can remember who that was. Well, I can just look. Let's see. Let's look at roles. Wasn't asked, wasn't Lolor. I thought it started with an A. Yeah, it must be this guy because he only has mechanic and architect as set as jobs. So. Make sure we're paused. Yep. So, uh, do, 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 total science skill labors. Right. So we need to take off mechanics for these three. Commit that change, or leave architecture on, um, and then Az Av Avuz is going to be our broker. So Avuz, where are you? Avuz, you are down here. Yes, no, no relevant skills. That's okay. Okay, now let's go down and look at our little bedroom area. Oh, look at that. Um, it got dug out. So. Wow, that is actually rather difficult to see because of the colors of the walls. Um, no matter, we'll get it taken care of. Okay, so we're going to have to go into planning mode to get this done. Um, so off of our little central area here, we are going to want doors. And we are going to want them, let's see. I think here. Right, so here's our five. Right, so we definitely want one there, one there, one there, one there. So there's, and then we're gonna copy that like so. And I'm actually gonna go in here and we're gonna designate, we're gonna hide. Uh, let's see, I know there's a way to hide the stones. Uh, I don't see it on this menu here. It might be I. View units, items and buildings. Keys. Is it hauling? No. Hog engravings, total standard marking. Oh, okay, so M is how I how I designate stuff on and off after I've designated as a mark designated as a marking. That's good to know. I'm definitely gonna be needing that. Okay. See, now this is really annoying me because I know there's a way to do it. Is it... Is it I? It might be I. Let's see. Let's try it. No, it's not an activity zone. Stockpile. It's not Q. View items in buildings, view units, hotkeys, locations, and occupations, nobles. Status, look, that movie. Okay, I'm not remembering how to do it, so uh, I'll just go in and do that later. Um, I'm going to look that up between episodes. There's a way that you can hide all of the rocks in an area, which would be really useful for us here. Okay, so there's our doors to the actual... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we wanted a door here, a door here, a door here. And a door here, is that right? Yeah. Okay. And 
then we have to put beds in all of these. Oh. We're gonna bed, we're gonna plan. One, two, three, four times. That's only 16 bedrooms, isn't it? Huh. Counted that wrong. Well, that is uh, that is enough for, for what we uh, for what we have. Um, okay, so I also want to give each of these guys a uh, cabinet container, I believe. So we're going to do container. And it's going to be a stone container. So these are going to be those rock coffers that we made. So we're going to give each dwarf a little chest here um, to store their belongings in. And then last thing I want to do, I do want to give them all cabinets, but I have to actually build those. Uh, I believe that's the uh, the thing that I wanted. Cabinets are for storing clothing in. So let's just go and set some tasks to build some cabinets. I believe that is a carpenter's workshop thing. Let's see. Wooden cabinet there. Let's see if we can actually make those out of uh, out of stone though. Yeah, we can make rock cabinets. That's going to be definitely the way to go. So let's set up a workflow task. We're going to add a limit cabinet of any rock. 5 to 10 is fine. And we'll go back down. Oh. So you can see yeah, our doors here are mining out um, all of those uh, all of those gems and they're leaving uh, Sapphalite on the ground here. But it's a uh, pink tourmaline that they're going after, it looks like. Mica Sapphalite. I'm not sure what Sapphalite is used for. Um, maybe worth looking that up. But we were up here. And we were placing, building, our cabinets, which is F. We're going to put planning mode on. We're going to put a uh, cabinet in the center of each of these rooms. And then uh, once at least the beds are placed, we can then go in and turn all of these into bedrooms and the doors will start moving in. We'll probably leave that dormitory intact for now just so the doors do have... Um, a little bit of privacy, uh, or rather, so that there's some place for the new doors to to go to when they when they get in here. Um, I'm just double checking my my outline here to make sure that I set that up right. It does appear to be correct. So, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna unpause, uh, and we're just gonna let the doors run for just a moment here. Um, we are coming up on 40 minutes, uh, which is time for, which means it's just about time to wrap up, um, but that's fine. I'm thinking about it. I'm going to build, build, shift T, a couple more cage traps here, just because I'm, I have a little bit of an obsession with cage traps. I, I do like, uh. And, and having the uh, the two uncovered there was kind of bugging me. Okay, so what do we have up here? We have puppies running around. Interesting. And how's our yak doing? See him just kind of standing here. Not really doing a whole lot. Can we, uh, can we milk a yak? Let's find out.
Okay, migrants have arrived. All right, that looks like a great spot to uh, to to call it call it an episode because we're gonna have to deal with a whole new wave of migrants. We did all of that labor stuff just uh, <laughs> just so that we'd be we had our bases covered so that when the migrants did show up, <laughs> we could give them jobs and start working on some industry stuff. So now we have migrants. So guess what we did to do now. All right, so I'm going to stop it here. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked what you saw, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there so you get the updates as I come out with future episodes. I am putting out these episodes uh, once a day, and also uh, sometime very soon I'm, I'm going to be start doing some short tutorials. As I'm going through the game, I'm making note of the things that I don't know how to do or the mechanics that are confusing to me or the things that I have not encountered before. Um, and I'm going to be researching those and making some short, um, between somewhere between three and seven minute tutorial videos uh, on those. Uh, if you have any that you'd like to see me make, uh, leave a comment down in the comment section and I will add it to my list. Um, and with that, have a great evening or morning or day or whatever time it is. Yeah.